Joseph Winston. Doctor, concentrate. I know you can hear me. Fight it! Oh, no, Joseph. I can't. Joseph, you can fight it. Joseph, no, no. My, my, my powder. No. Uh, your powder? Uh, yes, you need your powder. Yes, I must take my powder. No, I must cleanse myself of these pangs of misguided conscience. You will die. No, what am I doing? I'm a doctor. I heal people. I don't hurt them. No, only the fit survive. But I'm a healer. I swore an oath. Uh, that's right, Winston. You're a doctor. Uh, now, where is the powder? It's there, Inspector. The compound. It's, it's already mixed. Just add a little water. Ah, uh, yes. I see it. Hmm. Interesting combination. Uh, uh, no, Inspector. You will not imprison me. Uh, stir it up. Die, Inspector. Die. No. You're uh, a doctor. Uh, must spill the compound. Yes, I'm a, a doctor. Let's drink it. Uh, forgive me, Inspector. I, I, I don't know what came over me. <clears throat> You really expect me to believe that? Good afternoon, Josh. Pastor, it's a bit early for you, innit? It's only just gone twelve. I've never known you turn custom away. Uh, no, no, I, I'm not complaining. What will it be? Uh, my usual, please, Josh. Coming up. May I have a non-alcoholic drink, Josh? Certainly, miss. What will it be? Tea? Ginger beer? That's very popular. Oh, a ginger beer will be lovely. Thank you. And you, miss? I'll have a cider, please. Miss Jenny, the consumption of alcoholic beverages is not becoming of a young lady, especially at this time of day. I thought your leader's first miracle was to turn water into wine. Clearly he had no problem having a drink. <laughs> hey, that's a good point, actually, Pastor. Is it? So, what will it be, miss? On second thoughts, I suppose I should have a ginger beer too. Need to keep a clear head. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to keep a clear head. <laughs> I like it. No, I meant it. <laughs> I've never met a girl like you before in all my life. No doubt. I wonder how the doctor's going on. Doctor? Now, you called him that last night. Oh, I'm, I meant Inspector. You heard that racket last night, Pastor. Uh, yes, I did. They reckon it was that thing that attacked old Peters in the farm. Some kind of creature. I don't think spreading stories like that is going to help. What are you on about, Pastor? You saw it like the rest of us. You saw it? Oh dear, we don't want to spread any more fear. Well, what was it like? It was like a beast. Covered in air and all that. But like a man, too. It stood upright on two legs, but its muscles were huge. Must have been about nine feet tall. You don't reckon it's something to do with them evolution, do you? Like cavemen or something? Don't be ridiculous. Talk like that will set the whole village in turmoil. We've only just calmed everybody down since Peter's died. Aye, well, I reckon it wants talking about, if you ask me. Here, here. Stick us another one in there, will you, Josh? Don't you think you've had enough for this time of day? I mean, to be sensible, it, it would be best not to consume alcohol until the evening. If I want a sermon, I'll ask for one. Are we having some food, Father? I'm hungry. Of course, dear. I was hoping to hang on for the inspector, but he seems to have got mislaid. Are you all right? Jenny, you look worried. The inspector is taking rather a long time at the manor house. I hope he's OK. Uh, hey, Josh. That Jenny lass. What about her? Wouldn't mind spending a night with her, eh? <laughs> oh, that's a right Roman, Sam. A right Roman. I was under the impression that the Commissioner had fully briefed you, that you understood, and yet you disapprove of my work. I don't have to agree with your work to report on it. I suppose not. But I cannot deny that your demeanour ruffles me. My demeanour ruffles you. 
Joseph, it wasn't too long ago that you were trying to kill me. Oh, nonsense. I'm a doctor, a man of science, a healer. It was a momentary relapse, nothing more. How many times do I have to apologise? <clears throat> when did you begin your research on the human body chemistry? About 12 months ago. It came to me in a flash. The way our brains and bodies are driven by chemical changes. Introduce the right chemical and you get the desired change. In theory, anyway. Imagine, Inspector, being able to choose what we are, to be able to control it. Like you were controlling it before. You really are determined to cause me trouble, Inspector, aren't you? No, I'm just curious. I hope you don't mind me asking you this, Dr. Winston, but... Uh, Pastor Jacobs told me your wife died recently. What did she die of? My, my, Inspector. You don't beat about the bush, do you? Uh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. No, no. It's all right. Bridget was very ill. There was nothing anybody could do. She was losing her mind. I'm sorry. I took her to the best doctors in the country, and they could do nothing. While I was cleaning up the water supply for the village, I set to work on a cure for her. And Bridget, the poor thing, she let me try every drug combination I could think of, but to no avail. I was so close to the breakthrough as well. And then, after your wife died, you began experimenting on yourself instead. What? No, you've got it all wrong, Inspector. Have I? I don't think so. You began introducing different compounds to your natural biology to induce mental, physical changes. I can see, Inspector, that you have an uncanny grasp of these things. What changes, Inspector? Hmm. The usual, I suspect. Oh, yes? And what are those? Oh, a heightened consciousness and physical prowess. I mean, you could go for deeper compassion or greater wisdom, but you won't, will you? That's a little harsh, Inspector. Is it? You make me out to be some power-crazed madman. I assure you, I am not. I began experimenting on myself because I was so close, so close. Have you any idea what that feels like? And now you have triggered a cerebral and biological metamorphosis you cannot control. I am having some difficulty managing the chemical equilibrium, I have to admit. But as you witness for yourself, my new powder restores the balance admirably. Oh, Winston, listen to yourself. Oh, thank goodness you're all right, sir. Yes, I'm fine now, Mr. Raven. Continue with your duties. Very well, sir. The inspector here knows something of chemical change in the human body. Does he, sir? Uh, fascinating. I will leave you to your discussion then, sir. He's so loyal, Inspector. I am fortunate to have him in my service. Good heavens! Did you hear that? Where are my binoculars? The creature? Out there? Yes. It hovers about the grounds. I don't know why. It comes here regularly. You don't seem very alarmed. Do you know him? I'm a scientist. Naturally, I'm curious about it. The creature arrived in the district a few months ago. At first, it was timid. I don't know why it has turned vicious, but we are safe in the house. Really? No connection to your experiments at all? Ah, it's there. Uh, do you see? In the undergrowth? Here, take a look. Hmm. Bipedal in form, yet animal in stature. Definitely the thing which attacked us last night. Last night? What are you talking about, Inspector? How could you have seen anything like it before? It seems very interested in this room. It's looking straight at us. Does it know what's in here? I'm going to make contact. Dr. Winston! Dr. Winston! Yes, 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 we know, Raven. The creature has returned. Oh, I've lost it again. Where's it gone? Oh, sir. It, it's attacking the house again. Get back from the window. Find something to defend yourselves with. If we handle it together, we can overpower it. I don't think it's in a chatty mood. No, Inspector. We mustn't harm it. I didn't say harm it. I said overpower it. No! Raven, get me the matches. Yes, sir. What are you doing with my Bunsen burner? Improvising. Apparently, it's my forte. That funnel feed the sulfur. No, I need a longer gas pipe. Ah, this will do. There's one thing that most life forms fear, and that's fire. The matches, sir. Don't kill it. I won't. It's working. Mr. Raven, do we have any rope? We need to restrain it before it harms anyone else. There's no way you could get near it. 
This is no alien. This poor benighted creature was once human. What have you been doing, Winston? This is criminal. I, I don't know what you mean. My experiments are to raise up man, not produce this. I think our friend disagrees. Listen, my name is the Doctor. Remember me? I want to help. Look out, sir! No, wait! You don't have to flee! Why won't you trust me? Uh, uh. Sir, the strain has been too much for him. Let's have a look. His constitution has been weakened by whatever he's been injecting himself with. I can't do any more here. Listen to me carefully, Mr. Raven. Dr. Winston is not to leave the house. Get him somewhere you can fortify, in case the creature comes back. I'm taking some samples of his work, and I'm going to see if I can find a solution to this mess. Understand? Yes, sir. Uh, I won't be too long, I promise. Mmm, that was lovely. Josh, thank you. Mm, indeed it was. Thanks. Not as lovely as you, Miss Jenny. You are gorgeous. Brilliant. That's all I need. Shouldn't you be on your sewage farm or something? Nah. Pat's running it. He don't need me. <laughs> I love you, Jenny. I think you're the best looking lass I've ever seen. Give us a kiss. Go on, Jenny, lass. Just one. Samuel Radcliffe, behave yourself. Sorry, Pastor. I won't go to hell, will I? Hmm, that pie smells good. I hope I'm not too late for lunch. Doctor! Barman, some more of uh, whatever these have been eating, will you? Do you want something to drink, sir? A beer? No, thank you. Perry, sir? Or cider? Perry? Uh, oh, no, thank you. Have you got something non-alcoholic? Glass of milk, perhaps? Very well, sir. Got you doctor again. What's going on? Are you a doctor? Of sorts. I thought you were an inspector. You, you said you were Inspector Crawford. Come to investigate these diabolical murders. It was you who said that. Besides, I am both a doctor and an inspector, of sorts. Indeed. So how did it go with old Winston? Well, there's definitely something going on up there. I knew it. Now let's not go jumping to conclusions, Pastor. We don't have all the facts. What happened? He's been messing about with his body chemistry, and now he can't control it. Body? Chemistry? Uh, yes, you see, the human body and mind are controlled and maintained by a complex mix of chemicals in the brain. Theoretically, by introducing more of a particular chemical, you can actually change the behaviour of the person. <coughs> well, quite. If you upset the balance of chemistry enough, you can trigger a physical metamorphosis. Are you saying Winston is the creature? I was beginning to think so. Until the creature attacked the house. Heavens! Is everyone all right? Don't worry, we managed to fend it off and uh, it disappeared into the woods again. Apparently it happens quite regularly. His insurers must be getting suspicious. So, did Winston create the creature or not? He denied it, but if he isn't linked to it in some way, well, it would be an extraordinary coincidence, wouldn't it? What is he trying to achieve by all of this? He spouted a lot of nonsense about releasing his natural instincts. He wants to loose the chains of morality. The Cataith factor. What? The trouble is, each time he tries to find the right chemical combination, the more of a slave to the drug he becomes. He's now having to mix a compound to keep himself human. You mean he's addicted? In a sense, yes. I wonder who that first mutant used to be, and how long it took for such an extreme change to take hold. <laughs> What's got into him all of a sudden? He's drunk. He's been like this all afternoon. Jenny, I need you. I need you. Get away from me, you creep. Be careful, Jenny. You know how unpredictable drunks can be when they're riled? I need you, Jenny. I've got to have you. <laughs> Doctor. I want you, lass. What in heaven's name has got into you, man? Don't go on to me about all that, pastor, you pathetic old fool. Samuel. And your saintly daughter. I don't need her preaching. I need her! There's something about you, lass. You're not from round here. You're not like a pastor's girl, I can tell. Samuel, calm down. Stay in control. Fight it! Josh, call the constable. Aye, pastor. Josh, look out! Good lord! Someone get help!
They've got him. Jenny, take some of this powder, mix it with water, and make him drink it. Forget that. I'm not going anywhere near that freak. Jenny, he's not a freak. He's just infatuated with you. Oh, come on. Hear me out. It's not just the beer that has brought this on. Somehow he's been infected. This powder will arrest his temperament for a while. Once he's clapped in irons, make sure he gets it. Hang about. What are you going to be doing? I've got to test this compound, see what's in it, and try and find a permanent antidote. But I can't risk going back to the manor house. Well, where will you test it then? There aren't any other laboratories around here, are there? No. I'll have to catch a coach to London. What? I've got to get back to the TARDIS and run some experiments. I'll be as quick as I can. You'll hold on until Samuel's under control? Of course. Good. I need to be sure he's out of it before you leave me in this crazy village. Let's get on with it, then. There's no time to lose. That's it. Give it a good stir. He'll need more than that to stop him breaking free. Give him a few more lengths of rope and wrap them round him. Tight. Excellent. You won't get out of that once the serum has been administered. I'll leave the rest to you. You know what to do. Yes. Get this down him as soon as I can. Good. Don't forget to give it another stir. I won't. I'll be as quick as I can. <sighs> Daniel, get them to prise his mouth open. I need to make him drink this. What is it? A sedative. The, the inspector gave it to me. He said it will calm him down. Here. Give it to him before the powder settles. Very well. Let me through, let me pass. I have a medicine here that will sedate the poor fellow. Where did the inspector get that from? From the manor house, I think. From Dr Winston. You mean he stole it? Don't look at me like that, Rebecca. It's the stuff that keeps him human. Hopefully it'll do the same for Sam. Where is he now? He's gone back to London. He's got equipment there. I hope he'll be all right travelling to London alone. He will be. Father goes there every month without fail. And he goes by himself. We hear reports of highwaymen and that sort, but Father has never been bothered by them. Daniel goes every month? Yes, to see a skin doctor. He has some sort of complaint. A skin doctor? He seems to have come round. I don't know what came over me, Pastor. I really don't. I know, I know. How is he? In shock. Oh, Miss Jenny. How will you ever forgive me? Oh, please forgive me. I would never hurt you so. Really, I wouldn't. I forgive you, Sam. Oh, I would never hurt you, Jenny. How could I arm a lass as bonny as you? I will never forgive myself how I treated you. Never. Now you're being silly. Come on, lie down. You need a rest. Whew. That was heavy. Still, I wish I had someone who loved me like that. It's not love. It's lechery. He doesn't know the first thing about me. Listen. The inspector hasn't doubled back, has he? Oh, no. I hope that's not who I think it could be. Aha! Good afternoon, young ladies, pastor. Uh... Is the resident constable about? Uh, yes, over there. Ah, splendid. Greetings, my good man. I'm sorry I'm late. I should have arrived yesterday, but I got held up. It's Inspector Crawford, Scotland Yard. I'm here to investigate these damned murders and see a Dr. Joseph Winston. Inspector Crawford? Yes? We, we thought this young lady's accomplice was Inspector Crawford. Now, hang on. The doctor and I never actually said that explicitly. But you let us believe it. Why? Why lie to us? City people, all the same. What has been going on here? A young man has been impersonating your good self, sir. I can't believe I was so gullible to fall for it. Has he indeed? And where is this person now? He's gone back to London to conduct some experiments. He won't be long. Who is he, your companion? And who, come to that, are you? He's a doctor. He travels a lot, and I'm his nurse. I've no time for this now. I must get up to the manor house and see Winston. It's urgent.
I'll deal with you, child, and your doctor friend when I return. You are in a lot of hot water, young lady. Tell me about it. Just here, driver. Thank you. Keep the change. All right, darling. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm cheap. Uh, I'm sure you are. No, no disrespect. Sure I can't do nothing for you? You look like you could do with some loosening up. All up tight and frigid. I am not frigid, I'm busy. Oh, you're all shy, aren't you? Police public call box. Hey, you're a copper, ain't you? Sometimes. I didn't mean nothing, officer. Honest. I'm sure you didn't. Um, good evening. Now then, let's see exactly what your properties are. Aha, hello. Uh, Mr. Raven, isn't it? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Inspector Crawford from Scotland Yard. Commissioner Hollingsworth sent me to see Dr. Winston. I believe he is expecting me? You are Inspector Crawford, sir? Oh, not you as well. Don't tell me that dratted doctor fellow has even been here. Who is it, Raven? Don't dither, man. Uh, sir, he says he's Inspector Crawford from Scotland Yard. Crawford? You are Crawford? Hollingsworth sent me, sir, to report on the progress made so far. Then who in God's... Or should I say, who on earth is that other fellow? Come, Inspector, come in. I have much to show you. Hollingsworth is concerned about the reported murders. Are they anything to do with your experiments? It would be true to say that there were teething problems at first, but I feel I'm very close to the combination that will release us from our prison bonds. The next stage in the evolution of mankind. Precisely. I see Hollingsworth has entrusted you with our secret. Not misguided, I hope. Oh no, sir. I believe that man should shed his cultural restraints. How can we truly progress until we indulge our passions and live as nature intended us to? Ah, uh, I see that you are a man after my own... Uh, uh, no! Not now! I'm not ready! What's the matter? Winston, what's happening? What? what? Uh, Dickens, uh, fire and brimstone, what's happening to you, man? We must get away before he's fully transformed. Thank you for letting me stay here this evening. By right, I shouldn't trust you, young lady, but your doctor friend did seem sincere and you did give Samuel that sedative. So I suppose you're not completely beyond redemption. No one is all bad, Father. That's what you always say, isn't it? Tell me, Daniel. You used a word before to describe Sam's condition. Something factor. Oh, yes. The Cataith factor. I read it in a Bible encyclopedia a few years back. What is it, Father? It's the ancient Hebrew word that is translated sin in our modern Bible. As I said in my sermon yesterday, it denotes missing the mark of perfection. And it is in us all. The police station. It's Samuel. The drug must have worn off. Look at him. Look at the hair. And his clothes. What? He's outgrown them. The metamorphosis is complete. There's Luke the blacksmith. He'll give us a hand. Luke, come and help us secure the poor fellow. Luke? What's happening? The villagers, they are all changing. Don't suppose either of you have a spade handy, do you? Stay back, Sam! Stay back! <laughs> <laughs> 